Hi everybody, Kevin Rader for Only in Indiana, and we are in Worthington, Indiana. I'm at the home of Eric Knoll here, who you have quite a display. In fact, you got third place on the Only in Indiana Christmas, con Christmas Lights Contest, and we want to show you why, and we're going to start walking here to see what Eric has. You've been doing this for 16 years? Yes, plus helped my dad for many years before that, so yes. He's saying that his dad had a huge display in town, and everybody knows about that here in Worthington. You've kind of inherited some of those, but then I added have, way to it. Yes, we have, a lot. Let's look at what we've got, because this is one of the new ones here, the reindeer. We're just going to walk you through here. Let's go, Heather. What, what are we looking at here, Eric? Yeah, these are all new reindeer this year. We got it at auction, and we, we had them sandblasted and put LED lights on those. And then um, a lot of the bone, blow mold stuff was my dad's. And uh, you can tell by the wear on it when you get close, but it is 40, 45 years old or older than that, probably. How many bulbs do you think you got over, here? Over 20,000. Over 20,000 bulbs? Yeah. And we really don't keep track, but we kind of just know what's on everything. It adds up quick when you start doing bigger trees. And now here's something that your parents had. Right? Yes, all the manger scene and these the little carolers here. Yeah. And uh, the Santa over here on the thing was his. Now, do people stop and let it look? Yeah, yeah, they stop. They they're really amazed at a lot of stuff. And they get out and look and and because uh, it looks like it winds around back there even. Doesn't yeah, it? it goes in the back to that shed back there and. And stop it all off. I don't know if you know it's the leg lamp in the window. Yes. That's the original leg lamp from the movie. <laughs> That's in my office. That's signed by all the original people. Oh, seriously? Yeah. How cool is that? So it's kind of hard to see now with the bushes there, but. Uh, Do you see some cars go by? Because you're right along what, what highway is this? 67. You're right along 67. I bet sometimes people don't know you're here. You just slam on their brakes they do. and start. <laughs> they're going to have a wreck or something. <laughs> you know, but but uh, yeah, a lot of people just won't most stop. But uh, everybody's welcome to pull in and kind of take it all in. And let's go a little closer here to this, to where I think is one of the. I mean, it's all magical, but there's one of these that I think is over and above. Oh, that's an old one there, Santa, isn't it? It is. That's, that was one of my dad's too. Oh my gosh, yeah. But this is the most interesting thing I think you'll find anywhere. Jefferson Township, Greene County, Worthington, Indiana fire truck. This is the real deal, folks. Come on and show us what we're looking at. Yeah, this is a 1968 Sutphin, and uh, my dad was on the fire department, a lifelong member of the fire department. And so we kind of did it for a tribute to him, and we used it in parades and different things. And uh, if he was still here, he would really get a, a real hoot out of all this. But that's his fire helmet, his coat, and everything's you leave it in there and stuff. It's really functional. Hey, you said this fire truck you can use? Yeah, it, it, it's squirt, you know, it'll be squirt water. But, uh, it does it all still. But yeah, we have all parades, and um, we've hauled the school boys on it for parades and the ball boys and such. And Tell me what you said earlier, though. You said uh, your dad was on the board when this on was purchased, On town board in 1968, right? yes. How cool and, is and that? And he was fire chief for many years, and uh, and that was, his, that was his thing. He really enjoyed the fire department. Of everything you have here, is this where people pose for pictures? Probably most on the fire truck, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Believe it. Yeah. Yeah, we brought Santa in for the town, and uh, that's where all the kids ended up when they get the first day in the field, so. Well, I'll tell you, this may be third place, but it's first in our hearts because this is just magnificent. Thank you very yeah, much, thank and you congratulations. Guys. Thank you for doing the contest.